Okay, hi YouTube friends. I'm just coming on to do some more container gardening and this is my little tray of goodies that we're going outside to um, plant. I'm going to plant some beetroot. Uh, the, yeah, the cylindrical ones, I thought I'd try those rather than the round because the pots are deep, uh, are deep rather than round and I thought they would grow better. Uh, we're going to try some perpetual, I can't even say it, perpetual spinach, some autumn two king carrots, and some potatoes. These are Charlotte potatoes, and I only buy them because they sprout. <laughs> um, that chits, they chit easier. Um, and then in here, I've got the second batch of onions that are waiting to go in. Uh, but I've seriously, I've got them, they're all rooted now. You can get in there and see. So these are already flipping growing, so I've got to get them in pots for Kyo. So this is the second batch because we've already got one batch in. Um, and I'm trying to really sorry, I'm trying to really achieve uh, successional growing so that I don't have everything at once, but it's just um I find that part really it's so simple to do, but yeah, I find it so difficult or somehow, for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it's simple because you just do the same planting every two weeks or three weeks in a different pot. So my aim is to have four sets of pots, each one spaced at least two to three weeks apart. And it sounds so simple to do, and you're thinking, well, what's the problem? I don't know, my brain just doesn't... <laughs> No, I really have to think about it. Anyway, today is the first day of actually getting some more things in the ground. We did have <laughs> a ground frost last night, um, so I'm glad I covered my little um, pots up with their little happy hats. Um, but these these three can actually go out now in pots. Uh, this one, I know that's going to come in. See, April, outdoor sowing April to July. So, um, and I'm going to put a, a, a pot. A pot, oh, can't say it, a hat on the pot, um, and again, this one's March to uh, July actually. Um, and yeah, the carrots the same for March through to July. So, again, these three are going to be safe out there. So, let's go and put them in the garden. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. I don't know whether actually, before we go, I'm going to be able to hold the camera because I don't have a tripod and for you to be able to see. So I might have to jiggle that, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, so we need a plan B because we have little men here um, who are actually doing uh, some landscaping. There's a big ivy that was growing up the side of the house and uh, they are taking it down because it's making all the walls damp and as much as I don't like taking plants down or cutting plants down or trees down, this is a necessity. Um, so we're not going outside to do container gardening just yet, um, but we'll be back in a little while. Okay, so we're finally back outside because the, the people who were doing the, um, let's go here, the people that were doing the, uh, taking the ivy down in the corner have gone. So, we're going to plant potatoes. So in this pot, I'm hoping, I don't know whether I can perk you somewhere so I can, so we, let's see if we can, no, I'm going to have to hold you. So this one, chitted in a couple of areas. I'm just going to put that one in this pot. I just need to dip down a little bit. Um, with my trusty little 199 little fork from and I'm just going to bury him right the way down the bottom of the pot and cover him up and stick a label on him. Not that label. <laughs> Charlotte potatoes. I've put times three, but I know that that's not. But if I put that in the pot next, I know that those two are going to be potato pots. So that's all I've done. And then I'm going to water it later. And then he'll come up and I'll have potatoes grow. It's as simple as that. Let me tell you, growing potatoes is not rocket science. And again, all you need is to go and buy a bag of potatoes wait for them to start doing this and bury them 
it's as simple as that. So I'm going to put three in this pot because these ones are only tiny. And some people say you shouldn't. This worked for me last year um, and the year before. Um, so just give them enough space to. And again, I don't even. I might put those two back in this pot. Actually, put those two in this pot. Um, you don't even have to. They say you should earth it. You should grow and, and then plant and let them. You know, I did try one year. Putting them a little bit of soil and then waiting for the green to show and then covering them up again. And I thought, oh god, I can't keep doing that. It's too much faffing. And I don't do faffing. So I did it this way last year and it, they grew perfectly. So that's the potatoes done. Let's see if I can park you there a second. I'm not sure I can't park you up there actually. No, you're not going to stay because I don't have a... I'm going to have to stop this and start it again. Um, so those three with potatoes, actually we'll put that in those time now so I'll know there's three pots then. Right, so this pot I am going to do, what am I going to do in this pot? Um, I'm going to put some more onions in this pot. Um, so I'm just going to literally take the onion with the little sprout and stick it in the pot. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, not push it too far down. And again, this is the second pot of onions, so I didn't do it. Um, and, and you know, about six inches apart. Um, so hopefully we're going to get a succession of onions rather than having them all at the same time. Um, I'm not pushing them too far in. And there's no one, um, you know, I'm no gardener, but this works for me. There we go. Onions, and I haven't got... I have to go and get a stick. For this because I haven't got them. So I'll put onions in that so I know what's in there. Moving along the bus. <laughs> right. This is going to be. Let me have a look what we fancy in this one. I think we have the beetroot in here. And this actually comes as a there's my little sticker. What I've got to do now is try and get these out. Okay, so these are the little seeds. And I've got two, about eight there, I think. So I'm just going to pop those into this pot. Put the label in. And see how we go. And basically that's all I'm going to do with the carrots. So that I'm going to be able to hold you here now. And so this is. I'm going to take a little. Uh, super glad you're being held between my legs, my knees rather. Okay, so I'm just going to dip a hole with this technical looking stick. <laughs> And actually, I can't do it with these gloves on, so I need to get them off. And actually, I can't do sticks. I'm just, a, I'm just prefer to do it with my hands. So I can hold it in there. Okay, so the one, one in. Two in. in, four in, five, six, and I'm going to put little hats on these because it's still um, 
and put one in the middle because it is still um, frosty even though these can be done out now um, and then what I'll do in about three weeks is do another pot and put that pot in front here so I know I've got week one, week three, week seven and week nine so I've got a succession going on so I'm just off to do my carrots in here look at this packet I thought there was a packet inside a packet and there isn't it's just they're all loose in here that's a bit of a nightmare but that's okay okay so the next one we're gonna do is yeah a spinach beet moving along to the bus and again this has got its own little sticker which is great and the, yeah these feel like they're loose as well in the packet I'm just gonna have to stop and put you down now as much as these do say that you're supposed to sew them a certain you know just sprinkle them and sew them a certain amount of distance apart um, I realized last year when I did this that I ended up they were so close together and there were so many of them I was a little bit overrun with them um, so I'm not counting them, I'm, I am just, but you do, I am just spreading them, but you do need to give them space to grow because they do come out a little bit. Um, less is more. I'm just going to take some soil from that other pot actually and just put it over here gently. I didn't actually bury them, bury them, I just put them on the top of the soil and then covered them in soil there. Okay, so that's the spinach beet, which is cut and come again. Now this is my, for my carrots, which are that type of seed, and last year they didn't do too well. And I know there's um, a better way of sowing them. However, um, I need to remember that they've got to grow out and down. So I'm not going to put too many in a pot because I don't want to start thinning them out. Um, yeah, I don't want to start thinning them out really um, when they start growing. So I want to try and do one every... I know there's a... There's a too many there. There is a way of doing this. You can do it through a template of maybe two inches per I could have drawn a template but I didn't. I'm just going to put them in because again I just um, where's that one I just want to cover them up and they are very fine little seeds, ridiculously fine actually. I don't even know if you can see that. Let's see if you can... Oh, it's flown off, look. That's how fine it is. There it is in the pot. Um, so again, I don't want too many too close together because I want to give them room to grow. And have just pushed those down into the soil. And now I'm just going to cover it up. And I'm going to leave those to go. Um... And again, in three weeks, I've got some seeds inside that need to have, um, that need to, um, I'll put them in my carrot packet, that need to um, come out, but I can't put them out yet because they are, it's way too, um, still way too cold for them all. So I'm just trying to put my carrot seeds back in. So anyway, so that's another three, four, five, six pots done. Um, the things that can come out now, and and, and succession grown will start now. Every three weeks, I'll repot another pot with those in, all of those things in. Um, yeah, so that's part two, I think it is, of the container gardening. It's going to carry on throughout the growing season because I'm just going to keep you updated every now and again with um, how we're growing and I'm going to put these away and show you what the lettuces are doing that we planted the other week 
Okay, so here are some of the pots that we did with the lettuce in. It was from the living lettuce. And that's doing so well. Living lettuce and the radish, the baby radish that we put in are starting to do beautiful. And that living lettuce was one pound from Sainsbury's. And all you do is um, take them out and plant them on. And this was another pot that we did. Not so good, but not bad. Um, considering it was only a pound. And that's what I love about this living lettuce is that you can just, it doesn't matter if you lose a couple of the plants because some of the plants will do real good and then you'll be happily overrun with lettuce throughout the season. Um, and this was the ones in the corner. Because we only get morning sun around here. That one's, that one's taking, but um, not as good. But again, they will. Um, it's probably been a little bit cold for them, hence my little hats on top. Uh, that pot looks like it's done. That was chia seed, so we might have to redo that pot. It might have been a bit too cold for the chia seed. And then this one's doing okay. This is... Um, there's the beautiful radish. I'm still keeping this one covered up with, uh, because of the frost. Um, yeah, not bad considering. I'm quite happy, I'm quite happy with all of those. Um, so there you have it. Container gardening part two. Thanks for joining me. See you later.